We are in South England today! Woohoo! At the beach! It's muddy! Good morning. It's early. Very early. Are you tired? Hi guys. No. Where are we going? England. The land of the history. But first we have to go to take the train. The train to go under the sea. We have a sea dividing Belgium, the mainland and England. So this is the first time that I'm going to the countryside of England. I have been in London and Canterbury when I was a very... When I had... It was his age. When I looked like this, not so high, but smaller, uh, I went to Canterbury. It's England and it's not summer. I hope it will not rain a lot, but I have a lot of things planned, a lot of history things planned. And not today, but tomorrow we go to Center Parks. I have no idea that Center Parks was in England. We know that in Belgium, Holland, France, Germany, but I had no idea it was in England too. My kids are crazy about center parks. Okay, we're ready to board. I have no idea how to enter these trains. Can we get out? Do we have to sit in the car? I have no idea. The only thing I'm a little concerned of is when we get off the train, it's on the other side of the road. This will be fun. For you? I miss this bouquet on the road. <laughs> She's always really scary on the road. Uh, watch out for this! Watch out for the car! Watch out for the cow! Watch out for the birds! Birds! So now we're going with the car in the train it sounds really ridiculous how excited we are for people that are doing this on a regular base or people from england that are doing that to come to the mainland but for, for us it's the first time it's really strange we went to london it was just with the with the train as passengers the one time before when i was a kid it was with the bus on the ferry on the boat so now we are entering a narrow gap how who is this? It's like in a car wash. Yes, I have <laughs> not a good vibe now. Now, she, last time she went to the car wash, we had a flat tire. Going very fast. It's a small sea between Belgium and England. So we are already out of uh, the tunnel but now comes the challenge let's drive on the other side are you going to be chill i hope <laughs> <laughs> I, I do my best okay. i can't promise so uh, we have to exit on the other side of the train is everybody ready no it's on the other side <laughs> okay it's really strange to have your steering wheel on this side and driving on this side. This is strange. When I was in South Africa and Botswana, my steering wheel was on that side. And then it's kind of normal because you are again on in the middle of the road. But now I'm on this side and I have the feeling I'm driving in the bushes. But it's narrow. It's very narrow, but it's really beautiful already. The countryside is really beautiful. Oh, the sea. We see the, the sea. sea. <laughs> oh, there are a lot of cars here. And I'm going to switch my ways in, uh, in miles because it's... They don't see I'm speeding and I'm sure I'm speeding. I don't want to have any problems with the police. I'm always excited when I'm going on holiday and now it's really close that we are with Belgium. But it really has a different vibe here. We're just here uh, on a little town height. We passed here a little river and there are some little statues. So we wanted to stop and have a look, have a look because we want to drive slowly to our first stop this evening in West Wittering. This is 
a royal defense canal from in the 1700s when there was a threat of Napoleon from France. He was threatening Britain. They had to defend themselves. There was a, some kind of defense technique with this military canal and there's a, a long line on the coast to defend them. And this is one of these canals. So this is really cool. I think this, I know there's a lot of things lately that it's forbidden to do this, forbidden to do that. But there are a lot of parks, even in Belgium, that there are some trouble with uh, people that are drinking too much alcohol. And on some um, certain hours, you cannot walk in the park because it's, it's not safe, because they are all drunk. And here uh, you can have really have a big fine if you are drink in the park here and i think it, it's a good thing it's a good thing i don't think they have problems if you sit here doing a picnic and you had drink something but it's to gain more protection for the people that want to walk here in the park that's my opinion and the flower here on the ground that's a poppy just have seen our first red phone booth that's the old ones that you already see on pictures and and normally phone booths are oh all gone what a beautiful town is this all these houses the white wooden houses the phone booths there this is really really cool Wow, this is why I wanted to come to England. This is really beautiful. Going to buy some coffee. And breakfast and a tea for me because it's now one week I stopped drinking coffee. Thank you. So we have arrived at Pevensey Castle and it starts raining a lot. So that was I was worrying about traveling to England. But we have our Iceland jackets, jackets on. Not my oldest daughter. She has an umbrella. She, <laughs> she believes my she's... Jacket is in she strongly believes that she's wise enough to put the umbrella into the wind so it will not flip. You have to do something for content. I want to see how long it will take before it flips open completely. Not long, <laughs> I can tell you now. Okay, uh, I hope there will be some things inside. There's some rain now for the next 45 minutes and then it should be dry the whole afternoon, so yeah. No problem. Everybody has his jacket on? Yes. Umbrellas? No. <laughs> We were just on the wrong side. That's the exit again. <laughs> How beautiful am I? It's really a very good jacket. 
my Iceland jackets. Sometimes people say to me, do you always have nice weather? No, but nothing can stop us. I want to visit this, so I visit it. If it's raining or snowing or whatever, I will visit every day. If you're in Belgium, of course, we're not hiking outside when it's heavily raining. That's, you don't do that. But if you're on a holiday, yeah, that's it. You go hiking. raining so that's a good thing i told you this castle was already built by the romans it's already been destroyed and rebuilt and destroyed and rebuilt this hole this dungeon the only way in and out was through this hole they put a rope on the top and they lowered you down into this pit and you can see a latrine so that was the only thing you can do okay feel end up there not very funny just missed it they flipped over and ah just missed it nothing ah, happened nothing happened oh it's very tricky <laughs> an extra tip so this is part of the heritage uh, foundation uh, is it heritage foundation or what is it called heritage what is English <laughs> heritage? Wait, I will look for it. Wait, it's just English heritage. <laughs> and you can buy a membership card uh, for a week, for a month, for a year, a uh, lifetime membership. Uh, and then you can go free in these heritage uh, sites. So, for example, we want to go to Stonehenge. So it was the same price as we would have this membership. So this is now free for us. So if you are visiting England and you want to visit a lot of things, maybe check this website, English Heritage, and then you can buy a, a membership card and then you can visit all that for free. Uh, so if you visit more than one thing, maybe it's better to look at this uh, website. I know it's ruins and the last time we were in Iname uh, with my son, he says, It's just walls. He likes it now. Leap. This is one of the seven dwarves from Snow White. <laughs> What the hell? It's very rare. We don't see them often. We found one. We've taken it home. What the hell? What is this? And there is the... The sea. Wait. I will push. There you can see the sea. And the invasion of the... Who is it? Let's check it out. So on the morning uh, of 28th of September, 1066 700 ships carrying William the Conqueror was coming from that sea a lot of history here in Europe and I love history
This is the dungeon. And it's dungeon, although it's built by Englishmen, dungeon is a French name, dungeon. Ni dungeon, dungeon. Or something like that. <laughs> These huge balls here, there were ammunition to shoot with the catapult. They could really aim very good with that huge balls. <laughs> Is it funny? Is it funny? If they hit a wall, there were really big gaps and they could kill a lot of them. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It's so funny. Uh, how, how old are we? Are we just it like... It's funny to watch Santa do some movements. Some <laughs> movements. <laughs> Let me finish my... Uh, history ahead. history lesson. About the balls. They just killed a lot of persons. That was it. <laughs> it was just one sentence left. <laughs> this was really cool. Yeah, really yeah? nice. It was really cool. So you can say, how do you find these places? as well? I set my route where we go and then I go with Google Maps and I see what kind of things we pass and I click at them. <laughs> And then I read them and I look at pictures. If it's, is it nice? Is it not nice? Of course, you don't never know. Sometimes we are disappointed. Sometimes we are overwhelmed. It's funny. Or it's very funny. But uh, <laughs> funny, funny, funny. <laughs> it was a nice place to yeah, visit. But no toilets. But no Sadly. toilets. Yes, no toilets. I want to go to the toilet. Me too. Because I drank some tea. I want to go to the toilet. And I'm really crazy about all these things. This is really cool. Uh, but all the little towns that we are passing are so cute, cute, cute and nice and wow, really cool. So if you are coming out of the castle or going in on the other side, here, there are toilets. So we have arrived at our next stop. Sorry for the wind. Oh my God. Luckily I don't have my umbrella. Yeah, but our next stop is the long man of Wilmington. I saw pictures and I think it's really funny to see that it's really mysterious. It's very muddy. <laughs> what do you expect in England with all the rain? No problem for us, but our shoes. <laughs> A lot of cleaning this evening. So you cannot any go any further? It's one big mud pool. You not can any... You cannot go any further? There it is guys. The long man, he's holding two sticks and they said normally they had genitals, 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 and they removed them. Oh, can you do that? Can we go on the other side? Don't rip your pansy. Good. So there are a lot of strange stories about this long man. They recently found it that was made around 16th and 17th century. So he's holding two sticks. Some say it's just a, an, uh, a prehistoric god that they created. Other beliefs that it's so large that they wanted to communicate with other species on other planets, aliens. Well, the good news is the rain is gone, so there's a lot of wind, but blue sky! The area here is so beautiful. It's muddy! <laughs> so, the morale of the story Stand there and you see it better than here. <laughs> Look at the countryside. Beautiful. Beautiful.
we are running because we cannot see the hills anymore. Oh, it's muddy, 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 muddy. Run! My glasses are really... Now we go to the beachy head club. Head cliffs. Head club. <laughs> head cliffs. Go to the beach. Yay! Yeah, it's nice weather to go to the beach. If you are in South England, cliffs are very famous. Like the, the white cliffs of Dover, but we haven't passed that. that, that. So we want to see some cliffs. I don't know if we are going to be blown off the cliffs. Uh, or are you going to have a shower? So, oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 we cannot pass. This is completely flooded. We cannot drive any further. It's coming this way. Yeah, it's coming our way. Yes, yeah. it's coming our way. We just passed a road that was really flooding. Maybe we should uh, head back while, while we can so that we are not trapped. We just found a, a superstore where we can buy something small to eat. And I'm very surprised it's open on Sunday because in Belgium, in the morning, yeah, Sunday morning, but here, all day. It's always cool to shop in a warehouse, even with food in a different country, so to see things that we don't have. So we have our sandwich. What do you have? A sandwich as what, well. What BLT. BLT. I have ham and cheese. What do you have? I have chicken and bacon. Chicken and bacon. We have arrived. Room tour of our apartments. We have two rooms. The entrance is really lovely here. Oh. Cool. Nice. Bathroom. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bathroom. It's a nice room. With a nice shower. Yeah. Wow. Wow. The rooms are so beautiful. Yes. There is a lounge downstairs. Here there's a lounge. There's a lounge. You can sit here. You can chill here. It's cool. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Oh, there's some the biscuits. Some <laughs> oh, yeah. sweet ear. Here's biscuits. Oh, so there's yeah. room four and six. seven. Six. A six of oh, six. room four and six. So this. These are our biscuits. Wow. You want some? Yeah, I want. Try some. Okay. So this is the breakfast. Oh, wow. Really cool to sit here. Is it uh, good? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Good biscuits? So, for the last hour that it's still light, we're going to try to go to the beach. Let's see if it's going to be a wet beach or a dry beach. I think we had enough of rain today. So we are in West Wittering and this is a, a protected, protected nature. The sun came out, so let's enjoy one hour of sun today. <laughs>
That is crazy. <laughs> and I'm sitting here with my sunglasses. It's really something here in England, especially today, you have to do all your things between showers. It's very lovely between the showers. <laughs> Plain burger for you? Fish and chips, what the hell? This is a big fish. What do you have? Oh, spaghetti for kids. So, and fish and chips for kids. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.